Hi, this is Mike LaFleche, the professor. Hey, I want to share with you some quick tips to design a twisted link using the loft and on shape. Let's go ahead and start with a sketch. I'm going to use the handy arc transition by hovering over the endpoint, just like you would in some other CAD systems. And I'm going to add uh, this tombstone type shape here to my sketch, drop in a circle. Of course, on shape allows you to drop in the dimension parametrically on the fly. I did this offset from the center because I'm going to be mirroring this tombstone shape over at the end. Uh, we'll show you an interesting technique for transforming that to the other side. You can also line this up coincident with uh, the top plate. Let's add our mirror distance of 40 right here in the middle. We have one more dimension here once we exercise the dimensions here on the sketch. And we'll just drop that in right at 80 millimeters. So we got a fully defined sketch here, as indicated by all the, uh, the entities that turn black. Let's extrude this as a, uh, you know, perhaps a symmetric extrusion. And let's start at 10 millimeters, see what that looks like. That's you know, a little bit thin. Let's, uh, let's bump that up just a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. All right. Now let's mirror this to the other side. Now I could use the mirror function. But I'm going to use two transforms because I want to rotate and mirror, um, which will require a couple of steps, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is rotate the part on the axis uh, in the middle of our model. And I could just pick the, the origin as our make connector for the axis and rotate that over at 180 degrees. And now we have a parametrically linked copy there. And now I'm going to rotate that copy by... Uh, 90 degrees, placing a mate connector automatically, you know, on that front face. That implicit mate connector is such a helpful thing uh, in on shape. It's like a point and a plane all wrapped in the one. Now, all we have to do is just pick these two faces. You can just pick faces in on shape to mate to, and then you can decide, you know, how you want these things to be connected. Let's use the connections option here to pick these two vertex points and get some twist introduced. But we want it to be a smooth twist, so we're going to go to the end conditions here and uh, create it normal to each profile. And we can turn on the ISO curves here so we can get an idea of the surface quality here in a quick, easy way without having to pop in any other tool. It's right there inside the loft function. And there we have it. We have a twisted link in one, two, three, four, five features, right? And yeah, maybe we'll just drop in a... Uh, one millimeter on all of the uh, sharp edges. All right. And then, of course, I always like to play with the final button to test my design intent. You know, you can double click any dimension and just start changing dimensions and seeing how the final result works out. You know, it's a really good idea to test the parametric, you know, design intent of your models this way. And of course, you can do the same thing and in a feature as well, like an extrude. All right, looking good. There's some added bonus things I'd like to kind of show you here, you know, on something a bit uh, less simple than this twisted link. Let's say you had like, you know, the end of a bike frame or something like that it looks like this, right? How would you go ahead, you know, putting in a lofted shape or something like this, right? If I cut this open, you can see, you know, the, the quality of this looks pretty good. All we had to do, you know, if you take a look at, you know, let me just uh, turn the sketch on here, create the extrusion and loft between these faces. You know, it's, it's done a pretty good job. Why did it do such a good job? Well, it's because of our friend, once again, the connections checkbox. Let's turn off that section view. And we have four connectors in here. Even though that circle that we lofted to was one continuous circle with no breakpoints, we can add connections. You can drag these connections along to any position, right? So you can kind of get a sense for, for how that will look. There we are. So you just drop in a point from either an edge or a vertex point little technique that I like to use is to kind of look at this from the uh, side view here. 
That way you can line up these connector points to something that makes more sense, right? You can go into the sketch originally and split these entities, but in this case, I'm able to get exactly what I'm looking for here. And that's it. We've created a twisted link, and we've also lofted to the end of a uh, coupling for a bike connector.